Hello everyone to another 1000 mission making video. This time we are going to be talking about the new Dune 2000 map and mission editor version 1.2 created by uh, Klovkoch. I really hope this time I'm getting the name prop I'm getting the name as it should be because last time I definitely screwed uh, the name up. But anyway, so I did make another video about this uh, this program like I don't know a few months ago or one month ago I don't remember but it uh, it has been uh, really improved since then so it's really time to make another one honestly because there are a lot and a lot of nice features and honestly I don't remember exactly what kind of version I reviewed last time but I'm pretty sure that there are definitely enough things to talk about right now that have changed since then so first I'm gonna talk about how can you get this first of all go to you know your favorite fed2k forum forum.dune2k.com the URL of course the link will be in the description and you can see the post you can read all this if you want I'm not gonna do it now However, we are going to keep this here as reference to new features that have been added and that I might have forgot of. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, there, yeah, there direct download link or there is also <clears throat> a download page on GitHub or GitHub. No idea how to pronounce that, honestly. So yeah, you can read all this if you want. You have the source code too, which is pretty nice and yeah you would normally click uh, the direct download link if you just want the zip file with the program and once you extract it you get these except the INI file you normally don't have this until you open it the first time and once you open the, A the A EXE for the first time it's gonna generate the INI file so yeah this is the program we can see right at the beginning some differences from the other versions we get the buildings and units uh, being separated into two columns pretty much so you got all the buildings here and you got all the units here and even those that weren't before like ornithopter, stealth raider, grenadiers, devastators, deviators a lot of good, good stuff now probably one of the best things that uh, Klovkach has added lately is the fact that you can actually add an Atreides Palace for Harkonnen for example things that were not possible before without doing some crazy workarounds for I I had to do some of those like giving an Ordos AI a Harkonnen Palace I had to capture I had to make him capture a Harkonnen construction yard and sell it and then make I mean built the palace that was crazy so let's go ahead and check it out real fast I'm gonna do some some small map just for for the sake of it you also get the the structures and terrain tab they are being separated you get these nice little images to <clears throat> put out what exactly you are gonna be putting down for now we're gonna be put putting down some rocks you get this uh, board you get the borders so you can see where exactly you are going to place the uh, your your thing the one that you want to put all right let's add some spice close to this why not make it f a full screen so you add, can add some spice you can actually select 4 by 4 you can add really easily can add some dunes. Gonna make a real crappy map just for exhibition. Sand can remove the spice if you don't want it so much. And one really interesting feature is that you can actually. Oh, another one is that you can actually use a right click to move around the map. So this is pretty handy. Trust me. Instead of just going here to the top of the mini map or moving uh, the scroll bars you can simply use the right click to move around but the, the thing I wanted to mention is you can actually draw some sort of a shape close close to polygon or anything you really want and it is going to when you double click it's going to fill it out for you so this is really really handy and this feature pretty much works with spice too so you can see right here you can 
fill it out with spice or if you want thick spice you go ahead and do it and it's gonna fill it for you so this is really time saving it's awesome trust me so, yeah this works with dunes too pretty much everything you want select mode pretty much allows you to select a part of the terrain and then you have it you can paste it anywhere you want as you can see right here you can actually select uh, I mean check the structures checkbox if you want to copy the structures too or you can just leave them uh, you can just select the terrain only you get the open tile set button which allows you to pretty much select everything you want from here mark tiles also shows you the impassable ones are red passable ones are um, are green and I believe the I'm not really sure about this one orange ones are infantry only yeah infantry rocks that's pretty much about it I guess you get a grid if you want to custom means that you can actually select uh, the size you want and if you click there you actually get them like the presets already so you don't have to memorize the key shortcuts which by the way they do exist so let, what the hell are these the key shortcuts I'm gonna show you right now for example I'm gonna press Q right now and you get this I'm gonna get I'm gonna press 2 I'm gonna press 1 let's make a small cliff here using shortcuts if I still remember so that was 1 this is Q this is 2 this is 3 4 5 and uh, let's see yeah, this is D. So you get the point. They are very, very uh, intuitive. There is act actually a, a picture by the author explaining how the keys work. And just in case you you don't feel comfortable using those, you can just simply get uh, the uh, block preset selection uh, dialog thing, and you can select whatever piece of cliff you want and let's say you want sand cliffs you do the same thing and get the sand ones as you can see right here but honestly using the shortcuts is much much easier I mean the keyboard shortcuts it's so easy you just need to get used to them and it's gonna be really really awesome and and uh, everything's gonna be much faster for you when it comes to map making rock specials well you get the point you you can select everything here pretty much now another awesome feature that it's really really awesome is that you can actually you no longer have to smooth the edges of uh, rock rock regions you can just hold down shift and left click on it holy crap isn't this the, the key give me a second here All right, all right. I screwed up, guys. Give me a second here. I'm gonna fill it back. Now there is key shortcuts. I forgot. Shift. Um. I don't see it. Pain rock. Well, that was not what I was wanting. Wasn't it? Control shift yeah this time it worked I don't know why it didn't work the first time sorry about the delay guys so you can hold down shift and then left click somewhere and it's gonna smooth the edges for you and this is really really handy uh, and it's saving a lot a lot of time I don't know why it didn't work the first time but anyway this is this is good this is awesome and when you are working with cliffs and smoothing you're gonna have to manually adjust them a little bit but that's that's really not a problem because it's saving you a lot a lot of time so yeah let's see what else do we have here because I don't remember exactly what's new you get the these uh you know it's telling you where you can actually put it put the building you see it's red you you normally shouldn't be able to place it here or it makes no sense but it's not going to prevent you you can actually put the barracks here and it's not going to stop you at all so let's say I'm making a very small cute Atreides base here 
gonna put a light factory and a refinery because it's just a small base and a repair pad gonna make it symmetrical and nice looking you can, now you can simply when you are putting down walls you can simply click and hold the mouse button it's gonna generate the walls for you you no longer have to you no longer have to you know hold I mean click every time like this this was very very annoying and now you can just simply hold and it's gonna do it for you so yeah now what I really wanted to show you this time is let's place a Harkonnen Palace for House Atreides normally it wouldn't be possible but yes now it is we can, you wanna place an Ordos Palace too? sure why not want an Atreides Palace? there you go you want an Atreides high-tech factory for Harkonnen so that they can get airstrikes there you go as many as you want there you want an Imperial Palace get Sartu cars for Harkonnen barracks there you have it so you can actually add any sort of building you can even add siege for um, for any house this this is a Harkonnen siege you normally wouldn't be able to add these only for the Fremen I believe but now you actually can and you can put them anywhere literally this map looks like crap but the point is that I'm this is a tutorial right so I'm showing you how things are going anyway this I'm gonna end the video right here and go ahead with the next part which is going to be the, the triggers and mission scripting and all this kind of stuff so for now I just and also I'm gonna have a small look at the menu but now you know, we are 12 minutes in the video already so that's a little bit too much for the first part I'm gonna split this into two or three parts depending how much I need so yeah let's save the map and it actually tells you that you have to place one warm power but it's not gonna prevent you from saving anyway so yeah let's let's save it and yeah see you later